Reaper. Hey everybody and welcome to this episode of Dig Deeper TV. In this episode, it's all about stats. So I'm going to take you through my stats and my progress thus far. I am in week six on the second day. Today is Tuesday. Um, but let me give you where I've been and where I'm going to, it seems to be, uh, with the Insanity workout system. So to date, from the start of Insanity to now, I have lost 17 pounds. Uh, my arms have increased by 2 inches. My chest has decreased by 4 inches. My abdomen has gone down 3 inches. My waist has gone down 2 inches. My hips have gone down 4 inches. My thighs have gone down an inch. So a grand total of 14 inches lost uh, across my entire body with 17 pounds of uh, of fat burned away, hopefully, uh, hopefully forever. Um, now let's talk about the fit test. Uh, if you saw in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I didn't do the fit test, uh, what would be yesterday, Monday, uh, the first day of the sixth week. Uh, what I did was, instead of doing the recovery on uh, the entire recovery week, which would have gone from Monday through Saturday with a day off on Sunday. On Saturday, I actually did the fit test so that I would not have to do both the fit test and start the max interval circuit on Monday. And I think that was a really, really good plan. If you haven't gotten to uh, the second month, I highly recommend going and moving your fit test to the last day uh, the last exercise day of your recovery week rather than trying to do both because uh, as you'll see in another video uh, i give you some commentary on the max interval uh, circuit training on your first day of the six week. Okay, so um, let's talk about fit tests. My progress on fit tests. Um, on switch kicks, on day one I could do 65 switch kicks on uh, day 36, which would be fit test 3, I could do 128. Um, power jacks, day 1, 30. Fit test 3, 60. Power knees, day 1, 62. Fit test 3, 116. Power jumps, 10 uh, on day 1, and 40 on fit test 3. Globe jumps, Six on day one, eight on fit test three. I really hate globe jumps. I'm not sure why it is, but my legs are just burned by the time I get to, uh, you know, that last one. Or actually, really, by the fifth or sixth one, they're really hurting. And then just kind of pushing through to get a couple of extra in there. So, uh, nonetheless, um, still an improvement of a grand total, I guess, of eight jumps overall since four jumps equal an entire globe. Um, suicide jumps on day one, I could do seven. On uh, fit test three, I did 14. Push up jacks, 14 on day one, 32, fit test three. And low plank obliques on day one, I could do 32. And at fit test three, I did 46. So overall, I think I'm improving very well with the program. Um, I can tell you for sure that uh, the first day, or actually month two, is almost like starting over at the beginning. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen that in other videos. It is uh, incredibly hard to do. Um, of course, I'm speaking uh, to the choir here, preaching to the choir. You guys all know this by, by now. Uh, whether you look at my videos or others, you know that it, uh, insanity is no joke. So, um, But it's definitely peeling off the weight. It's peeling it off really fast. Uh, a good portion of the weight has uh, sort of uh, accelerated in the last two weeks or so. Uh, the first few weeks is just sort of boosting your metabolism. Then once you have this metabolism boosted, um, you're really going to start burning um, through your fat. Uh, one tip I can give you though, on the recovery week, don't forget to dial back your calorie consumption. Uh, and the reason why is you're simply not doing the level of intensity or, nor the duration of exercises that you were doing the four weeks before. So don't forget on that recovery week to bring down your calories and uh, that way you'll continue to lose weight even in that recovery week without doing as intense uh, uh, exercises. 
Um, and I burned quite a few calories here um, in uh, week two, sorry, uh, the second, first and second days of um, week six. And the average exercise, the actual, actually average calories I burned between these two days have been around 900, I think 930 uh, yesterday and another 910, I think, today. Um, so it's in the 900s now. Oddly enough, when I go back and look at the first week of the entire program, uh, most the most I've ever burned was around 700 calories. Um, what I've noticed is that I'm really tired in the morning uh, when I do my workouts uh, relative to you know the other month that I've gone through, which is really um, a byproduct of you know cutting back on the calories. Uh, I had cut back on the calories during my recovery week. And I hadn't started adding those calories back in as I started into week two. And I keep saying week two, but started into week six. And uh, believe me, it makes a heck of a difference. So uh, what I've done is I don't want to continue to add on lots and lots and lots of calories. So what I'm going to do is um, put in a heavy load of calories, carbs, and complex carbs early in the morning. And then do my workout. And then from there, I kind of taper them back down to what a normal meal is, but I'm really gassed uh, these first couple days of uh, the second month, and so that's uh, in my best interest to give myself the, the calories that I need. Uh, I'm trying a supplement uh, to kind of give me that extra boost. It's called Explode. Um, only a couple days in, so I really don't want to say too much about it until I've actually seen major results. My initial reaction is that it makes me really jittery, so it's probably got a good amount of caffeine in it. Um, which might be good to get you through the, uh, the exercises, but I, I'm more worried about the crash that comes afterwards. Um, but that remains to be seen. I'm going to go ahead and use it for a week, and then I'll, I'll give you an update on that. So with that, I hope Incendi's working out for you. It certainly is for me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them down below. Uh, if there's something that you want the rest of the community to see or know about, go ahead and post a link in the comments. I'm okay with that as well. And... Uh, just like uh, me, I hope you continue to dig deeper.